question, Chairman. Where is Toronto? Out on the reservation with the Lone Ranger, Mr. Peabody. <laughs> You're close. Actually, Toronto is in Canada, and that is our destination for today. What great name in history are we going to meet up there? Constable Archibald Woolley. Never heard of him. He was the first Royal Canadian Mounted Policeman. I instructed Sherman to set the Wayback Machine for the year 1869. The place, an outpost in the Wilderness Territory of Toronto. And before you could say, halt or I'll shoot, we were standing inside the post headquarters watching a very irate Constable Woolley. What's the matter, Mr. Peabody? He's tearing the place to pieces. Uh, looking for something, Constable? Yes, by George, a new job. You mean you're quitting the Mounties? Yes, the whole thing's a bust. For my very first case, I'm supposed to bring in Ottawa O'Toole. Well, bring him in. I can't. Why not? Because of our motto, we always get our men. Ottawa O'Toole is a girl. Well, I convinced the constable that girl or no girl, Ottawa O'Toole had to be brought in. Following up the latest information as to her whereabouts, we arrived at the Pettigrew Fur Company, only to find it in a complete state of disorder and a going out of business sign over the main gate. Trouble here, Pettigrew? Trouble ain't a word for it. Ottawa O'Toole struck again. She's ruined me. What did she do this time? She crossed all my minks with skunks. Now my business stinks. One good thing came of all this. O'Toole had left a very clear trail. Hoping to head her off before she could commit another atrocity, Constable Woolley took off, but didn't get very far, for Miss O'Toole had set a booby trap. Yes, and she caught a booby, too. Undaunted, we picked up the trail anew and followed it to the edge of a dense forest of mighty Saskatchewan spruce. There, on a tree, was a wanted poster. Look, Sherman. Wanted! Ottawa O'Toole and her two sisters, Hermione and Gingold. This unfortunately gave the constable an idea. If only I could find two ladies and talk them into posing as O'Toole's sisters, I'd put them in jail, and when she came to break them out, I'd have her. Unfortunately, ladies were hard to come by in the wilderness, so the constable did what he considered to be the next best thing. How come I have to wear a bonnet, Mr. Peabody? Because most girls don't have cowlick, Sherman. We were locked up in the nearest jail and awaited developments which were soon to come. As Constable Woolley had figured, Otto O'Toole took the bait. Look, Hermione, a rock with a note tied to it. Suppressing the urge to throttle Sherman, I instead read the note. Sisters, I will take care of the Mountie and have you out in a jiffy, signed Ottawa. Hmm, it seems as though she means the constable bodily harm. Yeah, we better warn him. Constable, come here, hurry. Be with you in a moment, summons at the door. But that's what we want to... <coughs> Good evening, madam. We're still locked up. How's she going to get us out? Just then there was a tap at the window. A hand thrust its way through the bars and dropped a long, thin object at Sherman's feet. A burning candle, Mr. Peabody. That is not a candle. Are you sure? Positive. When we came to, we were trussed up in the back of a speeding buckboard, heading into a remote area. Our driver was obviously the fiendishly clever Ottawa. Also, obviously, she had discovered the ruse and was out to dispose of us. I'm awful hungry, Mr. Peabody. Mind if I eat my jelly beans? What jelly beans? I ripped a hole in your pocket, and you've been dropping them at the rate of three beans per quarter mile. What did you do that for? To provide a trail for Constable Woolley. Sure enough, a scant 400 feet behind was the redoubtable Constable, not only following the trail, but eating it as well. It was almost sundown when Ottawa O'Toole brought the buckboard to a stop at the edge of a lofty precipice. How come she's stopping here, Mr. Peabody? Obviously, she intends to push the buckboard and us over. But before she could do so... Otto O'Toole, you're under arrest. Good work, Mr. Constable. Tie her up. I can't do it. We always get our man, not our woman. This isn't cricket. O'Toole would have escaped had it not been for my superior powers of deduction. So grabbing a nearby rock... You can't hit a lady, Mr. Peabody. She's no lady, Sherman. <laughs> the disgrace of it all. Capturing a woman instead of a man. Ah, but you did get your man. Observe. <laughs> Otto O'Toole was a man disguised as a woman. Bravo! Hear, hear, and all that, Tommy Rout. Gee, how did you know Otto was a man? Because she had five o'clock shadow at 3.30. That Constable Woolley sure is a great policeman. Very true, but he became even a better actor. He did? I never heard of him as an actor. Well, of course you have, Sherman. Surely everybody's heard of Mountie Woolley. Thank you.